Hi there, it's Miss Tiffany from the Butler Area Public Library, and I'm here with another Library 101 video. Library 101 is a series of videos helping you learn more about the Butler Area Public Library, library services in general, and information literacy. Today we're going to take another deep dive into part of the DDC, or the Dewey Decimal Classification System. Today we're going to focus on the 100s category. Remember, the entire Dewey Decimal Classification System is broken into groups called hundreds. So in the 100s, the entire 100s category covers philosophy and psychology. So within the 100s, we break it down even further. Remember, the Dewey Decimal System goes from general to specific. So we break down that 100s category of philosophy and psychology into 10 more specific subcategories of the 10s. And we're going to go over the 10s now and talk a little bit about what might be in those categories. So first of all, we start with the 100s. That's 100.00 to 109.99 into infinity. And this is going to be general works about psychology or philosophy. So again, it's just sort of a general beginning catch-all category. Then we move on to the 110s. That's one. 10.00 to 119.99 into infinity. And this section is reserved for metaphysics. So metaphysics is the study or discussion of what is real, what is not real, and what does it mean to exist. Remember, this entire hundreds covers philosophy and psychology, so these are very abstract, esoteric ideas that we're going to be finding in these categories. So the one tens is metaphysics. What is real? What does it mean to exist? The 120s, which is 120.00 to 129.99. And this is where you will find epistemology, which is the study of knowledge and discussions of causation and humankind. So what does it mean to be human? What is the human condition? Next, we have the 130s. That, so the 130s, 130.00 to 139.99 into infinity. This category is parapsychology. So parapsychology is the study of things that are unexplained, unexplained powers specifically having to do with your mind. So this would be where you would find things like discussions of psychic abilities or perhaps um, ghost stories, things like that. The 140s, that's 140.00 to 149.99 into infinity. This is where you find philosophical schools and doctrines. Now, when we say philosophical schools, it doesn't necessarily mean a school like I go to Butler High School or I go to McQuistian Elementary School. When they say schools, philosophical schools, it's really talking about schools of thought. So these are organizations um, or groups of people that follow one specific method of pursuing information, of pursuing knowledge and wisdom. They use one specific type of thinking. So an example of this would be people who follow the methods of the philosopher Plato. So they would belong to one of the Platonic schools of philosophy. The same with people who might study the line of thinking of Aristotle. So that is what we mean when we say a philosophical school or doctrine. The next is the 150s. That's 150.00 to 159.99 into infinity. And this is where we find the study of psychology. So psychology is the study of everything having to do with your mind, your emotions, and your behaviors. So this would be where we would find books talking about our feelings, how our feelings might impact our behaviors, and how our behaviors might impact our thoughts. 
Next is the 160s. That's 160.00 to 169.99 into infinity. And this category is where we will find topics of logic. Logic is the study of the basic principles of reasoning. So an example of logic is if you say a sentence like, all trees are plants and all plants are green, then all trees are green. That's not necessarily factual. That's just an example of logic. The next is the 170s. That's 170.00 to 179.99. And this is where we will find the study of ethics. Ethics is the study of what is right and what is wrong. So legal ethics, moral ethics, you're going to find topics like that here. Next, we have the 180s, that's 180.0 to 189.99. And this category is reserved for the ancient, medieval, and Eastern philosophies. Finally, we have the 190s, that's 190.00 to 199.99 into infinity. And this is where you find modern Western philosophy. So as you can imagine, in a category reserved for philosophy and psychology, we don't have a ton of books in the children's department that are in the 100s section of the Dewey Decimal System. We don't really have a lot of books about philosophy or logic or ethics or things like that, but we do have a few books that fit into those categories, and I would like to give you some examples of those now. So the first example is a book called Unexplained Phenomena, Investigating Hauntings, Ghosts, and Poltergeists. And this book is actually from the 130s section of the Dewey Decimal Classification System. That is the section, remember, where we said it talks about parapsychology and things like ghosts. So the Dewey Decimal number for this item is 133.1. The next item I have as an example is the book, Mindful Me, Mindfulness at Bedtime. This item is found in the 150 section, which studies psychology. Remember, psychology is the study of the mind, the emotions, behaviors, and how they impact each other. So mindfulness is a way of managing our thoughts and having it impact our behaviors. So that makes sense that a book on mindfulness would be in the 150s. The Dewey Decimal number for this item is 155.4. The last example I have is a book called Thankfulness. And this book actually belongs to the 170s section of the Dewey Decimal Classification System. Remember, the 170s is where we talk about ethics, so things that are right, things that are wrong. So this book teaches us the ethical value of thankfulness. I hope you've enjoyed this deep dive into the 100 section of the Dewey Decimal Classification System. There is a worksheet that goes along with this video and I will link it in the description below. If you have any questions about the 100 section of the Dewey Decimal System, of any part of the Dewey Decimal System, or of anything library related at all, please feel free to reach out to me. I will include my email address in the description of the video as well. Thank you so much for joining me and happy reading.